Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Zaki Yamani and to my fellow classmate. We are from group 3 and today we are going to present about the production of propylene. And before I start, I'm going to present uh, introduce my team members which consists of me, Amira Arifah Buti Kamina Fizan, Rahman Silian Kumar and also Muhammad Fadli Hakim Minanga. So our slideshow consists of uh, firstly the type of process, the reaction equation and condition, the catalyst, the reaction mechanism, the comparison of several process, and lastly, the examples. So for the type of process, this is the first pathway, pathway that we chose, which is uh, coal will go into methanol by the process of uh, MPO will produce propylene. So for the MPO, which is uh, the methanol to propylene, the methanol the to hydrocarbon process was discovered at Mobile Oil in 1977. This process is used to convert methanol to products such as olefins and also gasoline. In the methanol to olefins or MPO process, the methanol is converted to olefins such as ethylene and propylene. The olefins can be reacted to produce polyolefins which are used to make many plastic materials. Critical to the successful application of the MTO process are acid is the lead catalyst and without this catalyst, the chemical reactions involved in the MTO process would be too slow for the process to be economically feasible. So as you can see on figure 1, that is the process flow diagram for an MTO process to produce propylene. So this is our second pathway. As you can see from the natural gas, we will produce propane and we will undergo dehydrogenation to produce propylene. For dehydrogenation, dehydrogenation is a chemical reaction that involves the removal of hydrogen usually from an organic molecule. It is a useful way of converting alkenes, which are relatively inert and thus low-valued, to olefins, which are re reactive and also thus more valuable. Propane dehydrogenation, or PDH, is a process step in the production of propylene from propane. Higher temperature favor the endothermic dehydrogenation, pyrolysis, and also cracking reactions. So the, for the third pathway, from the crude oil, we will produce naphtha and will undergo steam crackers to produce propylene. So for the steam crackers from naphtha to propylene, steam cracking is a petrochemical process in which, uh, which saturated hydrocarbons are broken down into smaller, often unsaturated hydrocarbons. It is a principal industrial method for producing the lighter alkenes or commonly olefins including ethane or ethylene and propane for propylene. Ethylene is synthesized by steam cracking. However, propylene is mainly a byproduct. Nafta is the most widely used uh, feedstocks due to availability, low cost and potential for producing yields of olefins, namely ethylene and propylene. And for the last pathway, is from crude oil, we'll produce gas oil and we'll undergo FCC to produce propylene. FCC or fluid catalytic cracking is one of the most important conversion processes in uh, petroleum refineries. It is widely used to convert the high boiling point high molecular weight hydrocarbon fractions of petroleum crude oils into more valuable gasoline, olefinic gases, and other products. The FCC LPG is an important source of C3 to C4 olefinic that are essential fits for the alkylation process and the production of polymers such as polypropylene. The main constraints for maximum propylene yield are based on having the suitable catalyst, the suitable reactor, and configuration and reaction conditions. So moving on to reactions equation and condition, firstly for MTO, or uh, this is the process from methanol to propylene. The MTO process uses small pore silico aluminum phosphate molecular sieve or SAPO34 as catalyst and the main product is ethylene. MTP process has optimized the uh, propylene yield in the MTO process using MFI type framework high silica zeolite catalyst or HZSM5 enabling higher selectivity for pro propylene in the recirculation process. The important key steps in the effective conversion of MTP is to control the reaction during olefinic, uh, olefin formation, where the acidity of the catalyst plays an essential role. Steam was used as a diluting agent to control the exothermicity of the reaction and to limit the amount of uh, cooking. The reactor system was designed as a fixed bed reactor operating under uh, adiabatic conditions to avoid complex and costly cooling system. Moving on to the hydrogenation uh, from propane to propylene, as you can see on the chemical uh, reaction, propane will undergo dehydrogenation to produce propylene and release hydrogen uh, gas. 
So uh, the condition is it has high reaction temperature are necessary to achieve high propane conversion. The reaction is highly endothermic and performed under a PPS and alumina catalyst in a moving bed reactor and under nearly atmospheric pressure and temperature of 580 to 650 degrees Celsius. For the steam crackers, which is from naphtha to propylene, it depends on high temperature to crack molecule into smaller and more valuable ones. Typically, the reaction temperature is very hot, which is around 850 degrees Celsius. The residence time is even reduced to milliseconds in order to improve the yield of desired product. Low pressure, slightly above the atmosphere, should be maintained. And the feedstock could be gases such as ethane and propane as it could be liquid. Lastly, for FCC, which is from gas oil to propylene, the condition is it involves the presence of solid acid catalysts, usually silica, alumina, and zeolite. It proceeds at mild temperature which save energy. It also yields of alkene is diminished at lower temperature because alkenes can cause instability of hydrocarbon fuels. It also anatomic reaction and the feedstock of FCC is usually that portion of the crude oil that has an initial boiling point of 340 degrees Celsius or 644, 644 degree Fahrenheit or higher atmospheric pressure and an average molecular weight ranging from about 200 to 600 or higher. Next up, catalyst. For the MTO process, zeolite type catalysts are mainly used. Examples of these catalysts are SAPO34 and ZSM5. ZSM5 uh, favors the production of propylene due to the olefin methylation cracking reaction. Next, for the dehydrogenation process, platina thin catalysts are mainly used which are mixed with other chemicals such as gamma aluminum oxide, ZSM5, and SAPO34. The platina thin ZSM5 catalyst shows lower propylene selectivity due to its higher acidity. Next for steam crackers, it is a non-catalytic process in which it uses steam at high temperature and short residence time. And lastly for FCC process, it uses a zeolite type catalyst such as ZSM5. Reaction Mechanism ZSM5 shows the MTO reaction. The initial step in the MTO reaction consists of the acid catalyzed dehydration of methanol into the methyl ether, thus forming an equilibrium mixture composed of methanol, DME, and water. This mixture reacts further to produce light olefins such as ethylene, propylene, and butins. Figure 6 shows the propane dehydrogenation reaction. This is a complex reaction due to the cooking and cracking reactions. It is a highly endothermic and operated at high temperatures to obtain the desired conversion. The conversion is in the range of 32 until 55% and the selectivity is in the range of 87 until 91 mole percent. Because of the cooking reaction, the catalyst needs to be frequently regenerated with either continuous or batch-wise operation. Figure 7 shows the cracking process. Typically, steam cracker process reaction temperature is very hot. Light hydrocarbon feeds such as ethane, LPG, or light naphthas give product steams rich in the lighter alkenes including ethylene, propylene, and butadiene. Lower temperature produces relatively higher amounts of propene, C4 hydrocarbons, and liquid products. And lastly, ethylene is synthesized by steam cracking. However, propylene is merely a byproduct. Figure 8 shows the catalytic cracking reactions. FCC or fluid catalytic cracking breaks large hydrocarbons by their conversion to carbocation, which undergo countless rearrangements. This process is referred to as scission of the carbon-carbon bond. Some of the smaller alkenes are then broken and converted into even smaller alkenes and branch alkenes such as the gases ethylene, propylene, butylenes, and isobutylenes. In the cracking process, carbon is also produced which gets deposited on the catalyst or catalyst coke. Now we move on into the comparison of several processes. The first process is the reaction between ethane and butane. 
Bio-based ethane can be obtained by dehydration of bioethanol using a silica or alumina catalyst. The butanes can be produced by either dehydration of biobutanol or by demerization of bioethane. The demerization of ethane to but one in is carried out by passing heated ethane over a zeolite impregnated with a transition metal complex. A type of complex of rhodium, titanium and other metals are used. A mixture of ethane and butane is then heated and passed over a solid catalyst based on organic compounds of molybdenum and tungsten and orgoruthenium two compounds in a single continuous flow reactor. Small of amount of coke are deposited on the catalyst and are removed from time to time by passing heated air through the reactor. Then the second reaction is the reaction between ethanol and syngas. Another method of producing propane is via syngas and ethanol. Synthesis gas such as carbon monoxide and hydrogen is used to convert bioethanol to propane on all. The reaction is catalyzed by a ruthenium cobalt complex salt. A molybdenum based catalyst is also being used as it is more resistant to poisoning by sulfur containing impurities in the feedstock. Subsequently, propane on oil is dehydrated to propane. This table shows the comparison between MTO, dehydrogenation, steam crackers, FCC, uh, reaction between ethane and butane, and reaction between ethanol and syngas. For MTO, the selectivity of propylene is higher in temperature range of 573 to 623 Kelvin. Fixed bed reactor is used, uh, used at operating under uh, adiabatic conditions. MTB process has optimized the propylene yield in the MTO process using MFI type framework high silica zeolite catalyst. For dehydrogenation process, it is high uh, heat as high reaction temperatures are necessary to achieve high propane conversion. Moving bed reactor is used under nearly atmospheric pressure and temperature of 580 to 650 degrees Celsius. It is performed over a PT uh, SN over Almina catalyst. And the steam crackers, uh, it depends on high temperature to crack molecules into smaller and more valuable ones. The reaction temperature is very hot, around 850 degrees Celsius, and atmospheric pressure should be maintained. No catalysts were involved in this reaction. For the FCC, it proceeds at milder temperature, which saves energy. It yields of alkanes is diminished at lower temperature. It is an endothermic process, uh, reaction. It involves the presence of solid acid catalyst, usually silica, almina, and zeolites. For the reaction between ethane and butane, it produces uh, propylene with selectivity of 45%. It uses single continuous flow reactor and under identical mild condition, 60 degrees Celsius to uh, 3 uh, megapascal. Solid catalyst based on organic compounds of molybdenum and tungsten and organoruthenium are used for this reaction. The, uh, for the reaction between ethanol and syngas, it produces propylene with selectivity of 73.3%. The operating temperature is from 360 to 400 degrees Celsius. The reaction is catalyzed by ruthenium cobalt complex salt. Now we move on into the several examples of plants that produces propylene in Malaysia. The first one is Titan Petchem uh, Sendiri Amber Hype. This plant is located in Johor, uh, Pasir Kudang, Johor. It produces 165,000 ton per year of propylene. It produces propylene by naphtha cracking method. It uses Stone and Webster Ultra Selecting Cracking technology to produce propylene. The next plant is MDA, MTBE 
Sandia and Berhad, which is located in Gebang Industrial Era Area, Kuantan. MTBE Malaysia is a subsidiary uh, of Petronas. Currently produces more than 80,000 ton per year of propylene. It produces hydrogen by using propane dehydrogenation reaction. Other products such as isobutylene and acrylic acid is also produced by this plant. That's all from us. Thank you.